it's a very short feature film. It's just a feature film because it's 62 minutes. Uh, I really feel uh, I feel very good about this one because this this is one uh, that I really wanted to make. Um, it's 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 a passion project. Um, it's it's experimental. It has all these things that you normally don't see or that you normally can't do, um, and. That probably has to do with uh, the fact that it has been made during lockdown, when yeah the whole world was uh, suddenly shut down. Um, yeah, we made this, and it turned out quite nice, in our opinion. <laughs> uh, oh, why horror movie? That's a good question. Um, I think horror from a young age always has been something. The films have, that I've seen uh, as a young boy. Uh, they had a huge influence on me. Um, for instance, I saw The Exorcist way too young when there was a babysitter who didn't care that much. <laughs> um, but yeah, as, as with, with Logger, as with the fable from Jean de La Fontaine, with the image that my grandmother showed me, um, also horror movies did that with me. They, yeah, they have that impact um, that lasts. So yeah, that's what attracts me a lot. Logger was the second uh, movie that we did together. Uh, the first one was Boss, a short movie I made uh, almost three years ago now. Um, a bit the same there, also done uh, without any subsidies or so, so completely uh, do it yourself. Um, yeah, and fr from the first moment on, I think we uh, we got on really well together, and. We both have that same uh, vision on what a film should be. I think. No, I, I really remember well, like the the first time that Stefan talked to me about this project. I was picking something up. I think it was a hard drive from from your place, and he was telling me about how he was planning on making a logger, and he was uh, planning to do it um, all by himself, and at, at the small crew gathered. And he was, I think you were, were initially also planning on editing it Myself, yourself. Yeah. And he was talking to me about it. And I, c I could uh, sort of sense that he didn't want to ask me that question. But I was so inspired by what he was telling. Like, like as you don't know this yet, but I want to edit this. I'm going to edit this. And it was really fun. I liked the, the do-it-yourself um, aspect of it. I liked the fact that it was experimental, that it was a bit challenging, that you could diverge in different directions, storytelling-wise and editing-wise, try to um, create this special sense, this special kind of movie. And I think the fact that we took our time editing it, mm -hmm. editing it um, also worked really well. Like we worked on it for always like a couple of weeks, but not uh, one after another, it's like we worked on it for a week and then there was a month in between. So it took about a year, half a year or a year yeah. to finish it, but it was not uh, yeah. like we worked on it constantly. It was always in between other projects because we had other stuff to do. And it really made us take a look back at what we did and see like, uh, is this the way we were gonna go? Let's try something different now this time. And th that worked really well. So it was a really interesting, experimental process that I hadn't done before, but it really worked very creatively for me and I think for the rest of the crew as well. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, the best advice that I can give, but I know that it's not always possible for everyone, is just try to do it. Because I, I did this also on my own. Try to gather a good bunch of people around you who all have that same um, yeah, that same input and who all think the same like Martin what he said as well is the the rest of the crew and the cast as well because they all did this for nearly nothing it was it was everybody when I talked about them uh, when I talked to them about this project uh, I think they could feel that it was done with passion and yeah if you have that then I think you can go you can go uh, a long way. <laughs>